everybody. I made it into the park. I rode 120 miles. The sun is going down. I broke my shovel. I broke my tripod. I I'm just going to set up camp and I'll get back to you. Thank you. Bye. Oh. All right. How you doing, nice everybody? Yeah, great. So, I'm just trying to salvage a video if at all possible. I rode 120 miles on my sled. I had everything go wrong possible. <laughs> Bad signs. Ah, oh, wrong, wrong direction a couple of times. Uh, bad, hard, hard riding. I tried to film some of the riding. It was hard riding, real hard. Uh, when you get a lot of snow, it's too soft. And, uh, I wonder which one of these is better. We'll go with that. When you get a lot of snow, it's too soft. And I was fighting the whole way. Even, even when I caught up to a groomer or was on groom stuff, it was horrible. you just all over the place. You sink in. So it was a hard miles, bad signs. Somehow I made it here, broke my shovel on the way here, bouncing around, broke my tripod. I got my little, little bitch selfie stick tripod I'm using right now. I could fix my tripod, but I, I, I got here super late. I'm battling with wood. I'm going to, well, I'm making food right now. Let's see if I can touch this. Woo! Chicken and Southwest rice. All right. <laughs> I'm just gonna make food and probably let my fire die and pass out. I think I'd rather have a nice fire in the morning. That's what I think I'd like to have a nice wake up. I got a 40, negative 40 degree sleeping bag. I'll go to sleep, I could care. Sorry about everything, but uh, this was a rough, rough go. I knew this park would be difficult. I knew this wouldn't be that, that simple. But uh, this, was, this was a hard go. It was hard to film riding. I got, I got a nice couple of nature scenes. I, was on, I saw a couple of cool mountain views. We'll see what happens tomorrow because on my way home, I'm not sure which way I'm going to take, but if I take a different way home, I know I'm in for some, something good to see. I couldn't even film coming in this place. I couldn't film nothing. I, I had to battle my whole way. This was a hard ride in here. All right, let me finish setting up. Oh, hello, everybody. Jeez, this is cold. All right. Whew. Where's my light? No? Oh, no. No. No more. My light died. Oh no. Whew. My light died. Man, everything's breaking on me this trip. Nothing works anymore. Oh. 
and it keeps falling apart. <laughs> This is, that sucks. You suck. Damn it, man. All right, so I lost the light. You suck, man. Oh, look at that condensation melting. Egg sandwich is going. I gotta get a coffee going. Ooh, heat up, baby. Thank goodness. And fire is a wonderful concept. Darn. What a mess everything is. I can't find anything. All right. What do we got here? I got this drying out. Let me switch this over here out of the way of the camera. Oh, yeah, that's dried out pretty good. Oh, how nice. I'm so glad I saved that wood like I did. So glad I figured out to use this as a clothesline too. How nice. Oh. All right. I found my coffee. Let's see if I can get it to boil. It's probably be miserable. Turn on, baby. Yay! My light's back. Yay! All right. How beautiful it is to have warmth in a tent. <laughs> How unbelievable it is. How unbelievable nice. What a nice deal. How, how joyful to have heat in a tent. What an un unbelievable joy right now. Oh, I'm glad I saved that firewood. Definitely letting this thing die last night early and just climbing in was the way to go. And my damper broke, so I can't slow the fire down. So we got a, the damper was already broken. We got a broken damper. We got a broken tripod, broken shovel. My light came back to life, yay! I got a way to hang these lights lowest, but I, I, can't, I can't deal with it. I, I, everything's scattered all over the place. When you're struggling, man, does it just, it don't add up, it multiplies. You, you just battle. Uh, that was a rough ride in. Yay, fire, yay. I can't even have like a peaceful, happy guy video. Oh, we're getting somewhere. Cool, baby. Heat up, baby. Give me some coffee. Where's my magic mix? All right. I got Truvia and powdered milk. Because I was a fat bastard. I lost over 100 pounds. I was actually 335. I went to... 216 but I went up before I got I went up before the winter I went up again so I'm not a fat bastard I'm not thin I guess I'm pleasantly plump how about that yeah that sounds nice pleasantly plump well hello every nice everybody of course I just knocked the tripod over again because it's just it's just too small can't handle what's going on especially the the snow underneath is not uh packed nice of course it's just kind of done did what i could all right well there's my cowboy coffee let me put my uh Keep it warm without boiling device. Works very nice. I've got my Truvia and powdered milk. All right. Sun is coming out. And 
I'm going to blaze this fire. I'm going to have to start packing. I really don't want to go, but I got to go. I got some... I got some journey ahead of me. It'll be easier this time now. All right, cowboy coffee worked. F and A, baby. All right. This is gonna be hot. Ooh. Oh, that tastes, <coughs> uh, excuse me, that tastes good. I'll make my little table. There's my little table. All right. Look at that steaming hot cup of coffee. Yeah! All right! Woo! All right. Thank goodness I kept all that wood. I knew I would want a nice morning. I'd crawl up into this bag and be happy. All right. All right, nice everybody, how's it going? Yay, I'm alive. I didn't burn to death and I didn't freeze. I didn't suffocate. Ha! Oh, uh, here's my campsite. I'm actually in a volleyball court. It was the best thing I saw in a rush with no widow makers, except maybe that one, but whatever. But I got this, wow, look at that thing. No smoke coming out. That thing's blazing good. I got this stove going. I got stuff splayed out, still in my PJs, getting all my gear dry. So, this is what you could have saw yesterday if I wasn't scrambling. Check out all that snow. Woohoo! That was a lot of work. Here's my broken shovel. Broke on the way in. I should have put the handle the other way when I connected it. I disconnected and used these, uh, use wing nuts and have it situated on my sled in a certain way. Check this out. Found this on the trail. Shedded from a moose. I was by my house. I caught it the whole way. I didn't want to give up on that thing. Ah, uh, a little frost on my sled. Look at all that snow. Check that baby out. Cool deal. Cool spot. Nice and open. Oh, sucks getting out of that tent. That's nice and warm. That's nice and warm. I'm in Mount Blue State Park. Whew. And by Weld Lake. There's actually two different spots of the park. There's this, this is the south end on the south end of the lake. Then the other section of the park is actually a, away, from this, away from the lake. Weld is at the top of the lake. And then there's another section of the park with Mount Blue and some hiking trails, cross-country skiing. I'm going to come here in my truck one day with my sled. I want to get into cross-country skiing. I want to get a bigger tent for stuff like that, too. I get a table. Get a little fire pit thing, like a steel thing, have like an outdoor fire pit. Go cross country skiing. That would be nice. That would be really cool. Wow, I don't want to break down. All right. I'm going to get through, through this. This is, this is going to suck. Hello, nice everybody. I made it home. That was not a successful filming. That was a hell of a successful camping mission. I rode 120 hard miles, bumpy, bad signs, bad indications of what's going on. I found that park. I was late. I made that camp happen. I wanted to film set up, but it wasn't happening. When it came to breaking down, I had to get out of there. I wanted to film something and uh, I couldn't play around. I had a worse ride home. I went home a different way. I found my way. I did okay. I had locals tell me I wasn't wrong. 
They're like, that place is horrible with the signs. That was rough. Got snowed on, helmet fog, and I was looking at the map, the signs. I kept fogging up. I couldn't pull out the camera. It was bumpy as hell the whole way. One whole town hasn't groomed all year for whatever reason. I, I spoke to people about it. It was rough. I rode for my, I rode probably 30 miles before I got to a groom trail. Kingfield and Carabasset was kind of nice. Some other stuff had been groomed but was getting bad again. Some stuff hadn't been groomed all year. Wow. I took a beating. I pulled the camera out a few times for some scenery. But when I started to get to some good riding, I couldn't even film. I, didn't, I stopped for gas two, three times. I didn't even go into a place to eat. I went into one place close to home, got, got something to eat. I had to stand there and eat. There was no way to sit. I had to stand outside and eat. I couldn't, I couldn't warm up my helmet my, myself, put my gear together, put my camera together to film. I, I've been going nonstop. It's 5 o'clock. I'm in my house. I started breaking camp. I don't know when. Somewhere 6 to 7 o'clock, maybe something. Probably more like 7, 7.30. I haven't stopped. I wish I could have done better campsite filming and stuff, but I, I can't, I can't ride that many miles that hard, having to backtrack because of bad signs, bad, bad indications of of, of things, and uh, and get snowed on a lot of the time too, and just, just it's too much, it's too much. Uh, so I don't know how to, I don't know how this is going to come out, but I definitely, I went to the furthest place I ever have. I, I rode hard miles. I've been doing this a long time. I've been riding almost 25 years. I haven't ridden bumps like that in years. I haven't ridden that many miles of bumps since I was like 27 to like 32 years old. I haven't seen that. And that's with all my gear on the back of my sled and my backpack on. And I'm 49. That was a beating. But I was warm. <laughs> I ate. I dried my gear. I got warmed up in the morning. I had my coffee. I had my egg sandwiches. I did all right, man. I did all right. I, I got to get a camera to zoom. I got some great footage, but it, it, you know, GoPro don't zoom in. And I just missed Moose twice filming Moose. I was getting snowed on. I had the camera away in the morning coming out at like 7, 8 o'clock. And it was 7.30 in the morning, leaving my house yesterday. Ran into Moose twice. Couldn't, uh... Couldn't get the camera out in time. It was dumping on me. My helmet was getting covered. The camera would have just been a sheet of ice. That's it. Was freezing up when it was hitting my helmet. But uh, whatever. And um, probably a bad camera angle. I'm I'm hanging on by a thread. I want to say thank you to a lot of nice people that have made nice comments to me. And if this comes out at all, I'm sure that I've, some nice people will say nice things. And of course, there's going to, I'm sure there'll be some stupidity somewhere. I could care less. Thank you. Thank you, nice people. It's been a rough couple of years trying to film. And it's no snow, unfrozen lakes. I solved everything and I got to have this now. If I'm lucky, I'll get out again. Maybe I'll make a better video. Maybe I'll, I'll go closer to home again. I think that I can start maybe trusting that lake. I don't know. Whatever. I'm not young. I used to run like that like an animal. <laughs> I can't stand and stand on a sled and run like an animal like that no more. Especially with all that gear. And alone. And thank you to two nice guys from southern Maine. From a town they told me somewhere close to Augusta, the capital. It's my exit when I come up here. I was close to home in the Bigelow Preserve on the Clove Trail, and I went off trail, and I was not getting out. I was physically spent, and my sled is so overweighted with gear. These two cats 
were riding around. They were going to their ski house over by Sugarloaf, which is Carabasa Valley, just under the Bigelow Preserve. And they were on trail, but they had big powder off-trail sleds. They were riding with a sh one of those avalanche shovels. Even though we don't get avalanches, you got to be able to dig yourself. They, these two young guys got me out. I was struggling. I, I, I was digging and trying, but they got me out. So thank you to those guys, if, if ever. I appreciate it. I, but uh, yeah, I did it, whatever. Thank you, nice everybody. I hope to see you again.